If you see white people waiting on the bus stop, they're not mad, they're not angry. They just... <laughs> bus is three hours late. They just... I hope the bus driver's okay. If you see a nigga sitting on the bus stop, we are mad than a motherfucker. It ain't got shit to do with the bus. We just sitting there just... Get mad at niggas that's driving. Just... <laughs> Motherfucker atheists done got out of hand. Now they want to tell us what the fuck we believe. I mean, you believe in God, so that means you don't believe in science. What the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> Motherfucker, I prayed to God before every science test. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. <laughs> Jesus was in my class, you son of a... <laughs> Atheist fucked up. Atheist hear my whole story, hear what I believe, then he gonna tell me, nah, that don't make no fucking sense at all. Okay, well tell me your shit. His shit is that two motherfucking atoms just came to fuck together. <laughs> just came together out of nowhere, banged together and made this whole perfect earth. Fuck out of here. You stupid enough to believe that fuck boy shit. After this show, go outside to the parking lot and bang on your car till it becomes a better car. <laughs> you just out there. Just... Still a Corolla, still a Corolla, what the? Just gotta make your own decisions. They tell you you should not smoke cigarettes because it will stunt your growth. And when you're a kid, they tell you, drink all your milk. Eat your vegetables so that you can grow up big and strong. And I remember as a child, <laughs> drinking milk every day. Just bring a cow in and let me get up under him and drink some fresh milk so I can be big and strong. Broccoli, give me all the broccoli and greens and spinach. Let me show y'all some shit y'all not gonna believe. Would my mother and father please stand up in the audience right now? I'm looking around. Now look up there at my parents up at the top. My daddy 5'5 five five and my mama 5'3. What the fuck was I drinking milk for? Shit. I could have been eating lemon heads and baked beans all day. <laughs> Y'all don't know, it ain't no fun. Cincinnati right now worried about black and white prejudice. That ain't shit compared to the prejudice of being short <laughs> in American society. This is bullshit. You don't know how I had to overcome. Ain't no parades, ain't no marches. Jesse Jackson don't show up. All the shit y'all take for granted, like that little thing your mama put by the door to mark your size every year. We just had one dark ass line. My mama wrote forget about it on the top of it, just one dark. Then you grow up and be the same size. You got to be a pimp. You just can't be no regular nigga this size. I can't even go to an amusement park. Fuck Kings Island, I don't give a fuck. I'm a grown ass man. What do you mean I can't ride this goddamn ride? I'm a grown ass man. Spent a hundred dollars, I gotta ride in a teacup with little kids. Just, this is bullshit. When we get out this motherfucker, I am gonna kick your motherfucking ass. enjoying my motherfucking life. That's all I'm saying. I advise you to do the same. Do shit that make you happy. Go out and get you some white friends. Get you some white motherfucking friends. You ain't gotta sleep with them, but you gonna need them motherfuckers. If you go to jail and call your nigga friends, these motherfuckers will interrogate you more than the goddamn police did. <laughs> they had your ass on the phone. Where the fuck was you at? What the fuck was you doing? 
Why the fuck you ain't call me? Not your white friends. Them motherfuckers will be there by the time you hang up the phone and they'll be madder than you. Just what the fuck did he do? Murder, murdered who? Look, I fucking known him for two weeks. He wouldn't fucking do something like that. Gotta love white people. I don't give a fuck what you say. White people are friendly. You can call them motherfuckers up at three o'clock in the morning with the wrong number and they won't even be mad at you. They just, brrr, hello? No, I'm sorry, no Shaquita here. Well, what number did you dial? No, it's a nine, not a seven. We'll try it. If it doesn't work, call me back. We'll figure this thing out. We Gotta love white people. It's thanks to white people we know anything about wild animals. Do you realize that niggas have never in the history of niggerdom discovered a wild animal? Not one, not a wild pit bull, nothing. Cause we too cautious, niggas don't discover shit. We don't get close enough to discover. Niggas take no chances. That What nigga, is that a Rottweiler or a bear? Nigga, go, go, no, go, fuck that, go. go. White people though, let me say this, y'all need some nigga friends. Get you some nigga friends. Just don't ever, ever call them your nigga friends. Don't ever, that'll fuck the relationship up. There's my nigga friend. You guys say it all the time, what? White people, you need your nigga friends so they can tell you when shit is not appropriate. First of all, white people, please stop putting them little blue leashes on your children. Please stop doing that. That is only entertainment for niggas. That's all that is. We be excited then the motherfucker just look at him, look at him. That's why white kids grow up and kill everybody in the goddamn school, because you done treated them like a German shepherd ever since they were three. They be in the store like, oh, I want them. And even though he my friend, this nigga's still retarded. <laughs> nigga stupid than a motherfucker. This motherfucker got enough money to be whatever the fuck he want to be his whole life. And what the fuck does this nigga want to be? A goddamn sheriff. You can't be no goddamn sheriff, Shaq. You are 18 foot, 6 foot, 12, nigga. How the fuck? You can't even go undercover. Just do you have any drugs? No, Shaq. You know that's your motherfucking ass. You a dumb motherfucker if you let Shaq pull you out the car. You just, could you step out the car? Nigga, could you make a free throw? then I'm not getting out there. I'm just not gonna do it. If you want that nigga not to shoot you, you gotta dress up like a basket. He can't shoot them. He can't shoot baskets. He can't do it. Whole world is fucking crazy. You don't know what to trust. You can fuck around and stay away from gangbangers and drug dealers and still get killed by a squirrel. <laughs> you gotta try to act like it wasn't a squirrel. You Oh shit, nigga, don't tell my mama it was a squirrel, nigga. Don't tell my mama it was a squirrel. Tell her nigga shot me with two small bullets in the neck. Tell her. It wasn't a 22, it was an 11. Bitch shot me with an 11. <laughs> oh, we losing a lot of gangster niggas. We lost James Brown. God damn it, give it up for the Godfather. That motherfucker was the shit. We don't know none of his lyrics, and that motherfucker was the shit. We still don't know the fuck James was saying. Shut up, shut up, Yes, James, yes. Losing a lot of gangsta niggas. We lost one of the biggest gangsters in the whole world just recently. Goddamn Crocodile Hunter is gone, children. He's gone. That motherfucker, y'all, that motherfucker was the shit. Crocodile Hunter was the shit. He wasn't scared of shit. If you think he ain't gangster, go to your neighbor house and jump on their Rottweilers and see how that work out for you. <laughs> that white boy was a shit, cause he wasn't mean or nasty or nothing. He was friendly and informational. <laughs> Mother would be hugging crocodiles. He'd... Oh, that's a beauty right there, mate. <laughs> All right, I've got her in my sights now. Wait for it, wait for it, wait. I tried to do the bloody death roll on me. Did you see I tried to roll? <laughs> Fuck you gonna kill that motherfucker. And just to show you how haters be on you, this motherfucker didn't even get killed by a crocodile. He got killed by a punk bitch ass stingray. Ain't that some shit? 
he wasn't even a stingray hunter. You know, Crocodile was talking shit the next day, just I knew something bad was gonna happen to him, nigga, I knew it. Nah, he wrestled my uncle down on national TV, nigga, made a belt and... Where my Spanish people at? Where the Spanish people? We got to thank all 17 of y'all for coming. We appreciate that. I know most of you motherfuckers rode together. Y'all motherfuckers are efficient. You ever seen them come to a club? It'd be 39 of them motherfuckers in the same car. Just... Like, bitch, that is a forward focus. How many motherfuckers? But you need your Spanish friends. Don't nobody party like them motherfuckers. Nobody in the world party like them motherfuckers. Cause they don't need shit that niggas need. They don't need invitations or streamers or balloons or nothing. Them motherfuckers only need a front yard and some motherfucking Corona. And them motherfuckers... <laughs> niggas can't even go to their parties cause they don't never end. Fuck you have a party last three and a half motherfucking months. Just got niggas in there hostage. Just... I want to go home, nigga. This is <laughs> Spanish people. You gotta get you some nigga friends too so they can tell you when shit is not appropriate. We are tired of going to the laundromat to see you in there. Your baby girl is all of seven years old. This bitch has on a wedding dress and soccer shoes. Where the fuck is she going? Is she marrying bleach? This bitch. Spanish people is if you are pushing a stroller through the mall and your child's feet can touch the ground out the stroller, let little S.A. walk then. This motherfucker's 13 goddamn years old with a cigarette and a sidekick. Push it faster, S.A. It ain't that. It ain't like niggas got it all down pat when it come to raising kids. We all got problems. We just got different problems. It would seem like white people are a little bit too lenient on their children and niggas are a bit too harsh on ours. All I'm saying is at the white family's house, you can get time out for setting the family dog on fire. <laughs> at the nigga household, you can get beat half to death for forgetting to feed the family dog. Now that's the same goddamn dog. We just do shit differently, but white people, please take this back to your community. <laughs> please stop putting your children on them goddamn leashes. That is just entertainment for niggas. We, oh, we can't wait to see that shit in the store. We get right by the register. Just... That's why white little kids wake up and grow up to be 26 and killed everybody in the family because you done had them on the leash like a dog. They just in the toy store just, I want it, I want it, I want it. And black people laughing like we got the shit down pat. We ain't no good neither. You got to stop beating your motherfucking kids in the goddamn grocery store. You just in the checkout line as soon as your baby touched the skittles. You did not tell you not. Just ma'am, that baby is a toddler. You can't beat that. As America, we too gangster. We don't care. America's too motherfucking gangster. And it don't take a whole bunch of Americans to represent America, neither. It can be one white woman in a field by herself, missing teeth. <laughs> and she can represent America just fine. They'll be right in the field just Ma'am, a tornado just came and tore down your whole city. What are you gonna do? <laughs> We're gonna fucking rebuild. <laughs> I was goddamn born here, and I'm gonna goddamn die here. Some American shit. Fuck shit.
That nigga gonna invite me to his son's fourth birthday party. I get there, me and this goddamn baby is looking at each other eye to eye and shit. <laughs> And his son gonna have the nerve to put his hands up like I'm gonna pick his big ass up. He... Put your goddamn hands down. Ain't nobody picking you up, nigga. We the same size. <laughs> you can tell it was Shaq's baby because he was real big, but he couldn't talk good. All he could do, he could just repeat whatever the last thing you said. I was like, hey, you want, you want some candy? Oh, candy. <laughs> Start right, fucking with it. You want some chicken? Oh, chicken. I confused the shit out that nigga. I said, you want a candy or a whooping? Oh, a whooping. My favorite show for two years in a motherfucking row is still motherfucking Swamp People. That is my shit. Oh my God. If you have not seen this shit, you have not lived yet. This is some beautiful shit. I think I just like seeing my no uh, rednecks in a natural environment not killing minorities. I think that's what it is. I love this shit. I watch every episode, but I don't know why, because every episode is exactly <laughs> like the last goddamn episode. They don't change shit. Every episode start with a man in a boat going nowhere fast as shit. He just... I'm finding out most of the shit I thought was real ain't even real. I met DMX nine months ago. This nigga is two inches taller than me. I don't know why the fuck I thought that nigga was 6'12 or something. That nigga is my size. And he really talked like that. We in the restaurant, he a hell bitch. That nigga some water and some lemon. Nigga, why are you hollering? We in a restaurant, nigga. You know, that nigga wasn't shit at school. Couldn't cheat at all. Just, hell, bitch. What's the answer? Number seven. Ow, ow, ow. Nigga, you need to be in a special class. What the fuck is... I met Omarion, this nigga is the king of dancing for a motherfucking reason. Cause all while you trying to talk to this simple motherfucker, he is practicing his goddamn dance moves. I'm trying to have a conversation, this what? Oh, touch, touch what, nigga, this is? I met Shaquille O'Neal, I was so motherfucking happy to meet that nigga. Then I find out I can't be this nigga's friend in public cause he just too motherfucking tall. How the fuck it look, I'm trying to congratulate you on a good game and you got your dick all on my forehead, Regent. <laughs> this is bullshit, Nick. Water is the only thing in the universe. You know the recipe, and you can't make none. Say it one more time, Cat, for the people in the back. Uh-huh. For anything else, if you want to make it, you just need the recipe. And as soon as you get it, you can make you some. Not this, though. God made this. And we all know the recipe, H to the two to the O. <laughs> if you put an H and an O together by yourself, you just have a hoe. <laughs> and you can leave a hoe to water, but she ain't gonna make none. here. You come to Jacksonville, you ain't ready for it. I don't care where you from, you not ready for this. If you love water, you could overdose in this motherfucker. They, Jacksonville got water, 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 and water. They got a creek, lakes, rivers. The river go the wrong way. It,
If you're not from here, you not. You gotta be specific when you talk to your Uber driver. You can't say nothing like, "I'm by the bridge." There's <laughs> seventeen hundred bridges in this bitch. You mean the black bridge, the yellow bridge, the blue bridge? That's part transformer that go up and down. They don't tell you that till you high on the balcony. What the fuck? I think I saw the bridge move. You come to Jacksonville, you gonna see shit you don't see nowhere else. Generally, you can just go somewhere, look on the map, and pick places out. Not mm mm. You need a tour guide in Jacksonville from Jacksonville to tell you where you can and cannot go. You don't just want to be driving around, looking around. You'll see some shit that'll scare the shit out of you as a nigga. You Confederate Park. What? Most cities got one hood. <laughs> See how the audience laughed at that? <laughs> Most motherfuckers cities got one hood. The whole map is free. They tell you don't go. Not in Jacksonville. <laughs> They got spots all around the map you should look out for. You All the hoods sound like dangerous sitcoms. <laughs> Tonight on another episode of Washington Heights. <laughs> Something going down on Washington Heights. I'm pretty sure of that. If I know any of the hoods in America, I know. Stay tuned for another edition of Cleveland Arms. <laughs> It's got arms in the title. I know that's dangerous. Huh? Eureka Gardens. Eureka means surprise. Maybe you shouldn't be here. You looking for gardens? Jacksonville do it big. It ain't just hoods. They got certain streets. If you even type it in your phone. Your phone will not let you make it there. <laughs> If you type in Moncrief, <laughs> your phone say relocating. <laughs> What? <laughs> Jacksonville is the biggest motherfucking city out there. Every 10 blocks is another motherfucking neighborhood. If you're comfortable, don't be comfortable too long. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Most places you go, when you go to the gas station, the only thing you gotta look at is the price of the gas. Not in Jacksonville. You gotta look at some other shit than the price of gas. You had to look at all the surroundings of the gas station. You ever decided you didn't need gas as bad as you thought you did? You You ever got back in your car to not get your gas? I, I don't need this gas. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I can make it almost home if I just keep on going. I can get a little closer to somewhere where there's 32 motherfuckers out there, eh? Selling pit bull puppies and frying fish. Mm -mm. I'm not finna do all that for some gas. I'm not. Cook? Do you cook for your kids? Absolutely. Tell me some of the things you cook that they're proud of. Like, Dad made some. You got the best spaghetti. You Excuse got the me. best steak. Excuse What do you have? Tell us what you cook. As a father of seven with an unlimited food budget, you can make... Uh, whatever is necessary. I said seven, what they like. Excuse me. Excuse, uh, excuse me. me. I said answering. what do they like? Did Just you because think? you're a poor interviewer doesn't mean. <laughs> You answer the question and just tell Man, me. Man, you're what a they strong like. black woman. Is answer it okay for question. me to answer? Come on. You keep interrupting the answer. Oh Everyone can hear it. It sounds like you like me a little bit. It's starting to bleed over the airwaves. <laughs> it is. Oh, really? I want to let everybody on. know that Wanda got some lipstick on right now with enough glitter for the 4th of July. <laughs> That's right. Kissable lips. <laughs> All I'm saying is life is too short for racism. We all got motherfucking problems, but we can learn. We can learn. Just niggas, just fuck that. Just don't, 
try to do everything with your white friends. Don't get drunk with your white friends. Can't do it. Can't fucking do it. They don't drink like niggas. Niggas, we are very consistent. If a nigga drink Hennessy, that's what the fuck that nigga drink. That's what he drink. Hennessy. You ain't gotta keep asking. That's what he drink on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, his birthday, Jesus' birthday, Hennessy. If they don't have Hennessy, he will take Remy as a backup. That's as far as it goes. White people don't care what they drink. All they care about is what they said when they was leaving the house. Tonight, we're getting fucked up. That's <laughs> all the fuck they care about. Them motherfuckers, and you gotta be careful, niggas, because they're tricky. White people like to buy the drink. As a nigga, we are not prepared to turn down a free goddamn drink. We don't give a fuck what it is. Like, this is unleaded? That's spicy than a motherfucker, nigga. I like that. I I had to find out the hard way. I'm drinking with some white people. They buying me these goddamn drinks. The shit was delicious. It was called Zambuki, and I should have known that don't even sound like no shit a nigga should be drinking any goddamn way. Sound like one of my African cousins or some shit. But the shit was delicious, but it was coffee and alcohol together. I was knocking them bitches back. It wasn't until I got fucked up that I realized that maybe... <laughs> Maybe this is not the right combination of shit for a nigga to be fucked up on. Cause now I'm fucked up. I'm at the house, a nigga is fucked up, but I can't pass out. I'm just in the house, nigga, I am fucked up. No, I'm cool, nigga, I'm cool, nigga, I'm cool, fuck that. Let's get the day started. Science might have made a lot of shit, but God made the chicken. He gonna tell me. God made the chicken. He did that for the world. That's how you know it's from God. What group of people don't fuck with chicken? God made the chicken. That bitch ain't safe nowhere. Every time a chicken's foot hit the ground, somebody wanna put that bitch in Greece. In China. because that bird is the most delicious bird <laughs> in the whole world. And that motherfucker came flat. Because <laughs> God loves you. <laughs> if chickens could fly, half the motherfuckers in here be dead right now. Just saying, live your motherfucking life. You got to get your motherfucking hustle. Understand niggas is going to hate you regardless. Get that out of your head, that fantasy world where niggas ain't hating on you. You got to be grateful. You need haters. What the fuck is you complaining about? What the fuck do you think a hater's job is? To fucking hate. So let them motherfuckers do their goddamn job. What the fuck is you complaining about? Ladies, if you got 14 women hating on you, you need to figure out how the fuck to get to 16 before the summer get here. What the fuck is you mad about? Fellas, if you got 20 haters, you need 40 of them motherfuckers. What is you complaining about? If there's any haters in here right now that don't have nobody to hate on, feel free to hate on me. Sit back there and say my hair ain't luxurious when you know it is, bitch. Dip set, dip set. White people done took over now. Shit that used to be black ain't black no more. First thing white people took over was rioting. Riots used to be some black shit. We'll get so mad, we riot. Y'all are terrible at it, white people. We taught y'all better than this. Y'all had a million white people out there, y'all didn't do no damage at all. Y'all out there obeying the crosswalks and passing out orange slices, walking in single file lines. Y'all can't fuck the shit up because y'all own the shit. So y'all out there fucking it up and cleaning it up at the same time. You... White people just out there shaking their signs hard and shit. Just... <laughs> what are you doing? You using a shake weight? I'm riding, goddammit, I'm riding. These are the truths they hiding from you. I risk my life to tell y'all these truths. I'm going to tell you another one that I'll... They'll have me crucified by the morning. Watch. All I got to do is tell the truth. Watch this one. 
Wendy Williams is Bigfoot. <laughs> there, I said it. It's out there. I can't take it back. The bitch is Bigfoot. Every time she go on hiatus, you see all type of sightings. So... How you doing? She in the woods. That's the truth. I'm gonna tell you, statistics is gonna blow your fucking mind. There are zero niggas making fentanyl. Look at white people. What? <laughs> yep. You better believe it, white people. We would notice if niggas was dropping dead for nothing. I looked up fentanyl. That shit is beyond dangerous. I said, what you got to do to die? They said, touch it. <laughs> and that's what I knew. Niggas ain't involved in this. The clip for students has been seen more times than the movie girls. Let me tell you a tale but the My movie voice girl, is of the, the unheard the beyond the veil yes, In the world the so divided with the poor with, with denied with three Their rights and their dignity swept aside right. The streets are right. alive right. with silent cries Ma'am, you could have had that role and everything that happened would have happened Unless you thought you were necessary to write the Saturday Night Live monologue I'm a writer, I'm a writer, I only care about what you write I don't care about what you write And justice and depression, we won't allow From the streets to the halls of power Everybody can read, everybody can read, everybody can read what did you think of the movie? I, I laughed from the beginning to the end. I felt like I thought it was a fight to be I saw it in 2004. From the ghettos to the refugee queue. No more silence. No more fear. <laughs> I'm, 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 but I'm, I'm so <laughs> happy for her, though. Because that, 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 that baby, I, I tear up we thinking about the way that she got. Watch and fall. And to see and her do her thing. She passed it's a 46 struggle for justice. black comedians that I know trust. personally that I put on to her. Mm. I had a hard time getting a chicken sandwich and from Chick-fil-A after they had my second show that I bought for 25 of the week. But people like real, I and mean, that's why they like it. They, like they, they love real. Oh, because everybody's real then, so don't trip. No, no, they like Wherever Tiffany Wherever you Haddish. at, under the sound of my voice, well. do you have but a real core and work? Do you have a <laughs> ratchet friend? Do you have a sister? Do you have a cousin? Do you have a nephew? Do you have a niece? Is they so ghetto? When did that become marketable? Knock it off. They like her because she wants to be the white man. That's why the only thing she said was, I want to give it to Brad Pitt. The only thing before that in the movie with me is I, I slept with this white man and I got a white baby. She had a white husband for the 14 years she'd been doing comedy and then all of a sudden divorced him. Then said he abused her. Then wrote a book. Then said he didn't. And then now we're at Brad Pitt. So hey, you can say whatever you want. She said she got a disease but JJ. Don't nobody check for that.